Timothy Citizen Jones, 16 Dustin Avenue. I didn't come here prepared to speak, but some of these points were raised I think are important to emphasize. Lafayette Road needs to be paved. There's no doubt about that. Last year, $1.1 million were put aside to do the uh, sewer and repaving of Lafayette Road. At the Budget Committee, I asked the DPW Director where the design plans were for that work. He informed me there was no need for design plans because they were simply replacing what is existing. It made perfect sense to me, and I supported it. I asked him when it's going to be done. He said, absolutely, October. No later than October. October comes around, and what happens? Magically, the contractor runs into ledge. Now, I am still trying to get in my brain how you can run into ledge going down existing pipe. Ledge does not grow like trees. So the project was put on a delay. And so the public has now been suffering through all of this winter from October to date with a very rough road that obviously needs paving. When these issues were brought up last week, when the selectmen did address the topic and Mr. Bean asked for it to be on tonight's agenda, more than one of the selectmen said, I thought it was for paving. Well, no, the 1.1 was for paving. You voted to suspend that contract because the contract contractor ran into this thing called ledge, which magically appeared. Now, to me, it seems awful suspicious that we were delaying the paving so that everyone would have the perception we needed more money to pave it. There is money that the manager has told the budget committee just a couple months ago, still hasn't been spent, that's ready and available to fully pave the road. Article 9 has got nothing to do with paving the road. So I encourage everyone to vote no on 9. This looks to me like another magician job or a certain member of this community that I won't mention tonight, but perhaps on another night. Thank you very much. Thank you.